In this video, I'm going to look at the other side of the auto filter and use its envelope function to again achieve some movement and some interest um, in a particular part so that we can take something static and a bit dull and make it a little bit more lively. So again here I've got a sort of main loop on track two and I've got an extra snare drum on track one and it's the snare drum we're going to target with the auto filter to do some interesting stuff. Let's just hear this first of all and then look at what we can do with the auto filter uh, to make life a little bit more interesting for this part. Okay, so it's the loud snare part that I'm going to sort of go after. Let's just solo that and um, have a listen to it. Okay, so there we go. Now you can see I've got the auto filter set up. I'm just going to unbypass it so we can actually hear the result that it's having. And as you can see, this time I've turned the LFO off and it's the envelope which has been set to 100%. So it's going to be working over the entire sound, leaving no part of it dry. Now what the envelope obviously allows me to do, because it's a filter, is again to control tone. But what I've done here is to set a nice long decay time and no sustain. And here's my cutoff frequency and resonance settings over here on the right as well. And obviously the decay time is therefore going to set how long it takes for this sound to filter down, to go from bright to dull through the length of a hit. And I've got some output distortion too. So let's have a listen to see what that sounds like. So you can hear I get this really sort of fizzy quality now in this particular um, sound. And if I wanted to start darker, I can make that happen. And obviously I can also adjust the um, decay time so that if I want a quicker effect, that can happen. So I can either use this just to add a sort of little bit of punch right on the beginning of the sound or use it as a sort of more sort of total experience if you like. Let's hear that in context. And again, if you're programming in sort of more alternative styles of electronic music, that's a really nice way to take a snare drum and turn it into something much more noise based and effecty instead. So again, remember the LFO has been switched off altogether in order to achieve this envelope only result within the auto filter.